again, biology learners. In today's lab, we're going to be looking at different substances and whether they can diffuse across a selectively permeable membrane. So some of the supplies we're going to be using today, we're going to be using a little bottle of iodine solution. Iodine solution is an indicator that turns different colors in the presence of starch. So as you can see here, when I suck up some of this iodine, iodine is a nice brown liquid. But when I add it into a container that contains starch, we can see that it quickly, my mixture quickly turns black. So iodine is an indicator that turns black in the presence of starch. We will also be using glucose test strips. We've used these before. Dip them into the water. When they turn green, that is positive for glucose. So when you get back to your lab station, you're going to have a couple of supplies there. You're going to need to grab a piece of dialysis tubing. So dialysis tubing looks like this is a selectively permeable membrane. So what this means basically is dialysis tubing will allow some things in and out. And for dialysis tubing, what can make it through the tubing depends on the size. Dialysis tubing has very small holes in it that allow small particles to move through. So I'm going to get my dialysis tubing. It has to be wet in order for it to work. And I'm going to, uh, first of all, I need to tie a knot in one side. So I'm going to take one end of this and I'm going to tie what I like to call a balloon knot in it. And this is so when I pour liquid into it, the liquid doesn't pour just right out the other side. So I tie a nice tight knot. I don't want any leaking. Now dialysis tubing is kind of like sausage casing. It's actually a hollow tube. To open the other end, I'm going to vigorously rub my fingers together until this end opens. All right. So inside of this dialysis tubing, we are going to be putting a glucose starch mixture. So I'm going to get my glucose starch mixture, and it's this white one. It says glucose starch on the cup, and I'm going to test it for the presence of glucose. So I'm going to dip my test strip in. I'm going to set it aside, let it change colors. Remember, it takes about three minutes for that to change. While I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and get my handy-dandy graduated cylinder, and I'm going to measure out 10 milliliters of this glucose starch mixture. You may need to swish it around a little bit. The starch tends to settle to the bottom. So I'm going to get my dialysis tubing, and if your dialysis tubing dries out, all you got to do is put, put it back in the water and it'll get flexible again. So I'm going to get my dialysis tubing, I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to pour this 10 milliliters of glucose starch mixture into my dialysis tubing, hopefully without spilling it everywhere. And then I'm going to make sure there's no excess air in there, and I'm going to tie another balloon knot at the top. All right, so this is kind of like a model cell. We want to see what sort of things can diffuse across the membrane of my model cell. So I'm then going to get my beaker and I'm going to put 200 milliliters of water in my beaker. Okay, it's just water. I'm going to take a glucose test strip. I'm going to dip it in there, let it sit for three minutes to see if there's glucose in there. So I have my model cell with my glucose starch mixture in here. I'm going to place it into my beaker with the water so that it's completely submerged. I'm going to get my pipette and my iodine, and I'm going to put three to four drops of iodine in the water. Now, I want to make sure to test the water for glucose before I put the iodine in, because the iodine sometimes messes up the glucose test strip. So here we go. I'm going to put a couple of drops here. Okay, swish it around. Make my water kind of turn a light brown color. Oops, I need a little bit more. Okay, so I now have iodine in my beaker. I have my model cell in my beaker. I'm going to let that sit for about 30 minutes. When I come back, I will test both inside of the tube and inside of the beaker for glucose. And then I should be able to figure out whether starch moved through the tubing or whether iodine moved through the tubing based on its color. So I hope you enjoy the lab and have fun.